YouTubers on my head here, weekly vlog as we go. So, today I want to talk about sports bikes. Now, we'll start right back, back in the olden days, it's always the way to go. I used to be massively into my sports bikes and they were my thing, they were, you know, they were cool. And you, you know, and this is the thing, isn't it? I mean, for me, I watched Carl Fogarty racing around as a kid and then. Um, I was like, I was literally every race, I was jumping up and down, come on Foggy, come on Foggy. It's like, you know, he was brilliant. I mean, and we and we wanted those bikes. And uh, we, you know, as soon as I was 17 years old, I was like, right, I want to buy myself a, a, a prettier RS125. And we used to call them crotch rockets because you got on them and they flew. Now they were supposed to do like, you know, 80 miles an hour. Reality of it is, is they it would do like 105. Um, and 105 for a 17 year old is a quick bike. I mean, there's things you have to do to make it do 105, but you can do them and it's not difficult. Um, and that was two stroke as well back then. And the smell of castor oil two stroke, you get that smell and it's like, it's like, oh, that's a lovely smell. And if anybody went past you with one, you'd be like, oh, that's castor oil. Um, you know, and that was where sort of, you know, my kind of racing side sort of really started to like kick in on the track because riding around on them was like you know you see the dream don't you, you see the racer going around knee on the floor and you're aiming to get as much tread and scrub as much as you can and get right onto the limit and it's kind of your plan um and then obviously you develop in and you look at things like the uh, pretty rs250 and obviously there's many other bikes but that was rapid and then i jumped up to the honda cbr 400 um and it was called the baby blade and uh, they had different nc versions of it but i mean that was like that was incredible and there's a lot of bikes couldn't beat that i mean it was 400 cc and it was kicking serious out of the big bikes it was pretty it was pretty awesome um and then sort of like from there kind of jumping up onto the honda and it was a cbr 600 f so it was more of a sports tourer one but i had one that was like dynajetted um and it was yellow and it was like camel that's a brand of cigarettes branding all over it um and because it was dynajetted and it had a big exhaust on it, 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 it sounded fast, but it went fast. And that was a hold on, cling on, whoosh, off you go. Um, and then obviously jumping up from there into the, uh, into sort of the, uh, sort of fireblade sort of uh, like area. And that was like an unbelievably smooth, like flow. And uh, it, it just power, 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 power there. It doesn't stop. You're there going like, when, when, when am I going to change gear? Oh, I'm at... You know, incredible speed. I need to change up gear here. They were just like bulletproof, like monsters on wheels. It was like, whoa, this is a beast, but a smooth beast. Um, and you know, obviously, it goes on and on and on and on. But the sports bikes, it's like, I mean, some people never get out of their system, but it's one of those things that you've got to have. You've got to try it. I mean, the adrenaline rush is absolutely insane. You get a track day and you can pick them up like 99 pounds a midweek one if you're lucky 99 quid and you turn up and you can you know i mean you just go flying and the thing is as the advice always goes is and this is a good thing that they'll always tell you and you need to sink in on those days is that the bike can outhandle you the reason why people come off a lot of the time um on these track days is because they're overthinking it they're over worrying it and they're just not they're not letting the bike do what it needs to do. They're not using the position or any of that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, so the sports bike scene is huge. And then and I generally think we're now going back um, to sports bikes because obviously there's this A2 license in the UK where you're restricted. Um, people are going back to these 250s, 300cc sort of bikes and they're being reproduced again. And you know, the crotch rocket is back. Um, and you know they're going to be a lot of fun cheap to run and it's going to be the same thing you're only going to get it onto a track you're going to want to do it properly and my advice is if you get a sports bike book a track day because you will learn an unbelievable amount just doing a track day and you can pay for someone to sort of go around and do the first few laps with you and show you where you need to be and it sinks in and before you know it you are flying around that track so yeah the sports bike scene is huge and massive and i know there's loads of bikes i haven't spoken about um and I'm sure you guys can drop some in the comments. What was your first one? What was your crotch rocket? What sort of made you go, wow, this is cool? Put it in the comments. Anyway, you can do us a big favour. Hit the subscribe button. Let's build. Let's grow together. If you could give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And hit the bell button and you'll see the next one that comes out. 
don't forget we got our travel guides we've got our specials we've got our bike trips we've got the vlog our weekly vlog now i mean we've got a lot going on and we're getting better and better so you know it's worth watching it's worth getting that subscribe button in and we'll grow together and we'll have some laughs and we'll have some fun anyway see you next time from helmet head goodbye <laughs>